Y'all be safe and have a good day. And remember what belief in some shit. You feel me? Donald Trump, Capital Rise, Jim Jones, nigga drinking the Kool-Aid. Remember belief, bruh. And believing in other people when you should be believing in yourself, my nigga. Believe in yourself before you believe in what others. And, and decide to follow others down a path. You feel me? Believe in yourself first, man. That's all I got to say, man. Y'all be safe. Peace. This shit has all been in one take. It feels like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna fucking put my arms, my hands around your neck and strangle you. What the fuck you just say? They had been following our every move for months. They knew everything. And Tyrell, they think he's at the center of it Wait a minute. Back up. Yeah, back the fuck up. You damn right. Been working with them? The feds. The FBI? Why didn't you tell me? I made a deal for us. All they want is Terrell. What? What deal? Yeah, what deal? My nigga, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. That's what the fuck I'm saying. What deal? You wearing a fucking wire right now? No. no. They don't even know that I'm here. Elliot, I'm telling you the truth. The truth? You're telling me the truth too late. The truth? You've been working with the FBI behind my back? You've been spying on me? Am I to blame for this? Nah, you're not to blame for this. He snuck out of the apartment around 2 a.m. and met up with Angela. That's it? My runtime error. I saw her. Angela is the one behind this. I gotta stop her. Angela has been betraying you. So have you. Oh yeah, so have you. That's a bar. What? Been trying to play me this whole fucking time. This whole time. Betrayal, bro. I feel betrayed. I really do, bro. That was my homie. Like that was my Darlene was my partner, nigga. Like. If I miss some shit, I'll call it Darlene, bro. That's my homie, man. But she just turned on me. I really feel betrayed, bro. What's up, fam? I hope everybody's doing well today. Now, getting straight into this shit, bro. This scene right here, man. Again, dope. I, I, I'm happy. Yo, it's dope that this was the this was the moment. You feel me? At this exact day, on this exact event. Um, that the truth comes out between the two, yo, and it's and I and I find it dope as well that the second half of this episode, you don't see Elliot at all. Like this is the last we gonna see of Elliot until the very end. So uh, it is dope this the transition you feel me between these two characters, uh, these two main characters between Angela and um Elliot. So it's dope, man, and and just this one take shit is just out of this world, yo. They they truly genius. But as well though, I loved the the runtime era. You feel me? When when he found out. As soon as she said Angela, the shit just clicked in his mind, bro. And it got and it really gotta be something for him, yo. Like I could imagine, you feel me, trying to save the world. Like like Elliot's trying to save the world right now. <laughs> That's what he's doing. I could imagine trying to save the world right now, and, and and you come to find out that the people you give a fuck about most, like the people that's that you feel, um. Well, was close to you at one point. You you feel me? At, um, the most to you at one point, and just to find out that they've been playing you behind your back. You feel me? Working with the working with the enemies, and it's it's a it's a, a crazy realization. And I can't wait till we get to the end of this episode. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Like how they really directed this? Like it ain't been no cut off to another scene or no, another location. Like this shit has been going straight. <laughs> this is crazy. Now fuck CNN. Fuck Fox News the most though. <laughs> Burn that fucking building to the ground. That's what we need. We need to do this shit to Fox News, bruh. To that to their fucking their headquarters building. That's what the fuck we need to blow up. Fuck E Corp, nigga. <laughs> like real shit. That is a white supremacist network. You need to burn that bitch to the ground. Blow that shit up. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, bruh. Fuck you. Fuck them. Fuck them. 
Fuck the police, man. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go crazy. Let's go. Fuck it. It's some real stupid shit though. Like I don't, I don't, I ain't, I ain't with anarchy. I really not. I'm not with burning shit down. I'm not with fucking destroying places. I ain't with all that shit. But fuck it though. Let's do, let's go. I ain't with none of that shit. But don't nobody hear you. Don't nobody feel you until you fucking do something about it, bro. All that protesting and shit. That don't that that shows that there's still humanity. You feel me? There's still people out there that care enough about whatever the issue is that they're protesting. You feel me? And I, I respect that. That's dope. But that on unless y'all burn or do some crazy shit, ain't nobody, ain't nobody up top gonna ever hear you. But what these, what they plan is, what they got going on? They got gas masks on. So what y'all about to do? People have, people have no authority by themselves, bruh. But the only have a, people, regular people only have authority is when they get together. You feel me? Man, don't none of these dudes scare me, bro. I want one of you motherfuckers to come near my desk. <laughs> gonna fucking shake y'all asses right here in this building. I've been waiting to shake one. This really all. This really does all feel like it's in one take. This shit crazy. What, what can I say about all this anarchy, bro? Real quick, you see, there's a thing, man in this country you feel me where protests happen you feel me and they are real you feel me and i appreciate those that decide to go out to protest about real things you feel me and take that take that um that time that chance in that fire you feel me because when you in that fire anything can be done police everything they like to antagonize they like to start shit shit, shit pops off and happens but in many cases bro Especially in many cases for for many of these protests, especially ones that end up um, that are over someone's debt life getting lost. You feel me? Um, there are agents within these protests. You feel me? That are that are malicious and are not about what everybody else here. Every regular everyday people that's here that give a fucking one protest right now. They they ain't about none of that they are malicious they will creep in you feel me and they will start shit like you seen in the protest last year bro there was fucking there was real protests happening and at the same time you're getting videos of other people in um that are cops you feel me in in in, in um in, in in certain gear and shit fucking breaking shit and, and, and throwing shit and trying to make it seem like a riot is going on when that's not really going on like so trying to feel like that damage and things are being done when it's not really being done just like here where many there was many of those protesters in front of that building that are real regular motherfuckers that didn't go run up in e-corp and, and and do all this other crazy shit you feel me but it's the other people that that's a part the dark army like you should like what um urban's gonna say later you feel me they got them mixed in there you feel me to start a ruckus and shit pops off nigga and everything gets looked at as a as a riot that whole protest everything you feel me gets looked at in a whole nother light so it's it's a, these, this shit is real bro <laughs> you feel me these agents these people this is how the dark army just did this shit the police and other organizations do the same exact shit. But I love the anarchy and how they how they pop that shit off. You feel me? Following that dude throughout the crowd. And then you just see his POV and then FOW! I'm gonna need you to go ahead and have Elliot implement our contingency plan. Elliot? What contingency plan? Damn, I wish I was on set this episode. HSM. Make a backup of it. Once we get that, we'll be good to go. So they need Elliot right now. Oh, they don't need Elliot. They need, they need Mr. Robot. And fuck up everything. Fuck this fucking corporation, bro. Fuck up everything, bro. Fuck it. It's gonna be brand. It's gonna be good as new soon enough. Depending, I don't know how how. Where is this building at that they're gonna explode, bro? How close is it to here? I, I think I remember it being like across the street or some shit, but it depends on how close that building is. Cause that shit gonna blow, bro. I already know Elliot ain't gonna stop this. Oh yeah, they gonna have to vote, right? The UN vote. 
I like that blue. It's hard. <laughs> What you gonna do, Angela? Knock him the fuck out. <laughs> Hit that nigga in the back of his head, bro. You, you got me fucked up if you think I'm about to come with you. I'm on a mission. What you about to do? This motherfucker's all through this building and fucking shit up and you worried about me? <laughs> like, what? I really should uh, head back to my office. It's actually just right back there. No, 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 Where the fuck you go? <laughs> Took his fucking head off, boy. Motherfucker, that's what I was saying, bro. Motherfucker worried about her, nigga. You got people all through this building going, wreaking havoc, doing whatever. The fuck you worried about me for? That motherfucker's better not put a finger on her, all right? The fuck you running after a woman for, bitch? Took that fucking security guard soul, nigga, in one one fell swoop. Sweep. Your life can end just like that, bruh. No matter where you at, just like that. We'll never see it coming. This is crazy how they're shooting this shit, bruh. I need to really pay attention. I'm zoning out for a second, talking and shit, but damn, seeing the outside of the building and seeing her... This is crazy, yo. She gotta take all the fucking risks. Oh, random person, random civilian. Fuck, how you walk into a room and not look and see who was inside? <laughs> you okay? So what you about to do now, Angela? Wait. What you willing to do? How did you get Where you willing to take it to? Show me. I was in the middle of an unannounced physical security audit of the code signing. <clears throat> Got his ass. <laughs> Got your bitch ass. <laughs> the fuck you think you doing? I hope she make it out. This shit really is amazing how they shooting this shit. Like they really, this is something I've never seen before I think. You do all, all all of this almost in one take or make it seem like it's all in one take, bro. It's hard, bro. You can't, like, nobody can't fuck up. <laughs> like, nobody can fuck up any line or anything, bro. Any of the dialogue, whatever you got to do, wherever you're supposed to turn, whatever way you're supposed to be looking or going, you can't fuck it up. Smart. Gonna take off his mask, put that jacket on. Smart. What the fuck you moving so slow for, bro? Put the fucking mask on and let's go. It's probably the uh the spray or whatever still in there, still on there. That's fucking that was messing with her right there. She look fire with that on though. They bodying niggas. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> Continued on with their day. <laughs> Looked at her and continued on with their day. China to annex Congo at the UN vote. If China makes another move like they did today, our standing as a world superpower will be put into question. But he working for them though. Ain't that what? Yeah, last episode he were he he, he reported propaganda, bro. He do he doing whatever he got to do for them that they want him to say. Bro, this dude, this dude is the fucking Tucker Carlson of this of this series, bro. <laughs> like this, which is, which is one of the biggest white supremacists speaking on national television 
in front of millions of people every night on motherfucking Fox News, lying, giving out mis- misinformation, giving out like it's it's crazy, bro. These people are billion. These people are millionaires. You feel me? Tucker Carlson is a millionaire, feeding into the minds of millions of fucking poor people out there, especially poor white people out there, but black people too, like him too. Fucking crazy. I will never understand it, bro. Stay over there. <laughs> I'm all, I know what side of the fence I'm on, cuz. So y'all stay over there, you feel me? But this is real, bro. Like, they, 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 these people, all these people in these media outlets, Fox News, CNN, all these people, they get paid by corporations. They are a corporation, but get paid by other corporations and other entities, you feel me? To push out whatever agenda they want to feed to you, bro, for you to believe. That's why you got millions of people going crazy at fucking school boards about fucking history <laughs> you feel me and, and and them not wanting to be taught real history you feel me or real things about slavery and all these other things bro you feel me but none of these people probably never spent a day in their ch- child's school or at all until fox news came out saying all this other crazy shit this media is very powerful you feel me that's all i needed to say your men came after me well, they've had all hours <laughs> Doesn't mean we control the explosion. Facts. Did you get a name? Lydia Riley. She's dead. Irving. Are you still gonna evacuate the recovery center? Fuck no. That's been done already. So this is really happening. We need you to stay strong. <laughs> it's hitting her. <laughs> it's too late. This is a step toward that. Remember the cause. Remember the cause. <laughs> it's hitting her, boy. It's hitting her soul. What's about to happen? What she just did. Yo, I love this scene in this elevator, bro. Like, and I, I gotta say it, bro. I gotta give it to Angela, bro. She fucking pushed through, nigga, and made it through this building and did everything she needed to do. You feel me? She had conviction. You feel me? And she had other things on her side as well. But I, I gotta give it to her, man. She 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 thugged this shit out. Yo, fuck her. But she thugged this shit out and I gotta give it to her. But getting into this elevator and her asking these questions about are these people gonna be evacuated? Oh, oh, is this really happening? <laughs> like that type of shit, that type of verbiage and talk after you done did everything that you just did, my nigga, that's the type of shit I don't like, bruh. You feel me? Like, is this really happening? She can't even believe it. Like, all this shit is hitting her, hitting her soul right now. And she's expecting these people to get evacuated out this building. But I know deep down she knows it's not, she knows they lying to her, bro. But she gonna continue to do, she gonna continue to do what she do because of the cause. You feel me? So, it's all about what you willing to sacrifice and what you willing to do. You feel me? To get what you want. Or what you need to accomplish. Damn, she's going back. What the fuck? Dark Army? Is he he Asian? Yeah, he's Asian. Thought she was supposed to be meeting him in the lobby, not on the 41st floor. Maybe I just heard wrong. She can't take it, boy. She's starting to crack. So I don't fuck with people like this, bro. If you ain't fucking all the way in, nigga, then don't, don't be a part of this shit. If you ain't willing to suffer them consequences, if you ain't willing to, 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 to take it there, bro, then don't take it there. You did everything you needed to do. Now you can't handle it. What's about to happen? You can't take it. You starting to crack. You about to fold. Why get involved in the first place? The fuck, man? You're gonna do something, be about it. Be all in. Is there something you wanna tell me? Ha ha ha. Man, we going on to the next one, bro. Fuck it. I don't, we going on to the next one. Cause I can't let this shit just end like this, bro. I need to see some shit below. Or whatever's gonna happen.
Okay, fam, to end this all off, bro, this is this is this has been a masterpiece of an episode, bro. This is one of the, the greatest <laughs> episodes of all motherfucking time. I mean, not all time, but this gotta be up there. You feel me? This this just the production, just what they put into this, what they gave us with this episode, you feel me? Um, the quality, like, I, it, it's, it, this is unmatched for real. Yo, Angela, shout out to the actor, man, because she really, she really killed this role, bro, in this, in this episode, man, and especially in these final moments after delivering what she needed to deliver to the Dark Army cat and just the emotions running through her, you feel me? The, 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 the expressions on her face, um, the lost feeling the lost look on her face as well yo like what is she thinking about right now as she's walking right before she runs into elliot is she thinking about all these people that are gonna lose their lives is she thinking about her mother she or is she just thinking about what what white worlds promised her or is she thinking about elliot and he just appears right in front of her i don't know man it could i i me personally i think it was her mother but as well just just the shock of everything she just did you feel me and knowing that this is it this is really gonna happen that's really getting to her bro and that's that type of shit man weak people getting involved in things that they don't need to be getting involved in at all but this was an amazing episode again shout out to the actors shout out to my boy elliot shout out to Sam Eastmail, yo, they snapped. And I wanted to show y'all this, bro. I forgot to show y'all this yesterday. Um, got um, the red, uh, what's it called again? The red wheelbarrow. You feel me? And it's basically a guy. This is all Elliot's notes from when he was locked up. You feel me? Oh shoot! It's a whole bunch of a whole bunch of notes from when he was locked up. You feel me? So everything, and it comes with a whole bunch of extras. And you know, it's dope. I haven't started reading it yet. I just, it just came in the other day, but it's dope. You feel me? So um, it's basically just a, look, a glimpse inside his mind just during all through season two and what he was dealing with um, when it came to Mr. Robot, you feel me, and what they were dealing with at the time. But again, yo, this was an amazing episode. I wish I could say more, bro. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm really not in a, the best mood right now, you feel me, to be doing this like I norm like I normally am whenever I, I'm doing this, but uh because I need to get this out to y'all and um yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that, bro. I appreciate y'all to the death. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um and we're gonna be back with 3x6. We breaking that into two parts as well. Definitely next episode and 3x8 will be a two-parter, yo. I appreciate y'all to the death. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you to all my YouTube family. This was this was something special, yo. Real talk, I, I enjoyed um, covering this with y'all, man.